What's up everyone, Patrick here, moving on to a couple of more exponential expressions to simplify. So starting with number one, we got negative three to the power of negative two plus five to the power of zero minus negative three over two to the power of negative three. So here you just want to work with each of these individually and then simplify them after. So negative three to the power of negative two, that would be like one over negative three to the power of two. Five to the power of zero is just one, so we're gonna be adding one here. And then we're gonna be subtracting negative three over two to the power of negative three. Now this negative and this negative, they don't turn into a positive because this negative is part of this exponent. And with bed mass, you gotta be doing exponents first before you multiply. So this minus we would keep. And then here, negative three over two to the power of negative three, we would use this law here. So we would flip the fraction, change the exponent to a positive number. So this would be two over negative three to the power of positive three. And then you just work it from here. So um, I'm gonna put actually border here so you're not getting confused with this. So negative three to the power of two, that is nine. So this would be one over nine plus one still here, minus, we would take this three and distribute it to the numerator and to the denominator, like that. So this would end up being one over nine plus one minus, this would end up being eight over negative three to the power of three is negative 27. And now that we took care of the exponent, these two negatives basically turn into a positive. So we got one over nine plus one plus eight over 27. We're just adding fractions at this point. So this one is like over one. What would be the common denominator between nine, one, and 27, the lowest common denominator? It would be 27. So this one over one, we would change into 27 over 27. This, we change to 27. The nine, we have to multiply by three to get 27, so we have to multiply the top by three. So we got three plus 27, which is 30, plus eight, which is 38. So this ends up being 38 over 27, right? So that's the answer for number one. It is 38. over 27. Moving on to number two, we got four to the negative three plus one over two to the power of five plus three times four to the negative two. So again, just work with each of these individually first. So four to the negative three, that is one over four to the power of positive three. Here, uh, we have a fraction to the power of a positive exponent so we would use this law here. We would just distribute that exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So this would end up being one to the power of five over two to the power of five. And then we have three times four to the negative two. Now over here, notice the four is to the power of negative two, but the three isn't. So the four we would bring down to the denominator using this law here, but the three would stay up top because the three doesn't have any exponents. So we would have three over 16, like that. So this one over four to the power of three, that is what, one over 64, one to the power of five is one, two to the power of five is 32, and this is three over 16. So what's the lowest common denominator between all of these? It's 64, so this would stay as one over 64. 1 over 32, multiply the 32 by 2 to get 64, multiply the top by 2, so this would end up being 2 over 64. Multiply the 16 by 4 to get 64, so we multiply the top by 4, so that would end up being 12 over 64. So this ends up being 3 plus 12, so 15 over 64 and I don't think that will simplify any further. So that's the final answer for number two. And again, you can always check your answer 
in the calculator. So you could take all of this initially, plug it into the calculator, making sure you get all the brackets correct, and then uh, you may get a fraction or your calculator might give you a decimal number, and then just take this, 15 divided by 64, see if you get the same decimal. Moving on to number three, we got two over three to the power of negative two plus one over four to the power of negative one. So fractions to a negative exponent, using this law, flip the fraction, turn the uh, exponent to a positive. So this would end up being three over two to the power of two plus four over one to the power of one. So then we distribute the exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So three squared over two squared plus four to the power one. This is like four over one, which is four to the power one, which is just four. So let's just write a four here. And then this four is gonna be over one because we're going to be adding fractions. We're gonna to have to get a common denominator. So this ends up being nine over four plus four over one. Common denominator between these is four. So this ends up being nine over four plus 16 over four. Nine plus 16 is 25. So final answer for this, 25 over four. All right, so number three, Twenty-five over four. Okay, moving on to number four, we got negative six to the power of negative three, two to the power of four over three to the negative two. So let's work with this first. Negative six to the power of negative three, we could change that to one over negative six to the power of three. I'm gonna put that in its separate bracket. So I'm gonna work with this expression first and then this expression. So Two to the power of four, that's not a negative exponent, so we would just keep it there. And if you remember, I told you that if I'm working with a fraction and I see any negative exponents, I just bring the exponents over, turn them to positive. So if this was two to the negative four, I would bring that down to the denominator. But it's positive, so we keep it there. But this three is to the power of negative two. So I'm going to take this from the denominator, bring it up to the numerator. So this would end up being two to the power of four times three to the power of two. Took this, brought it up. And then there's nothing left in the denominator, so there's just a one there, right? And then you just simplify. So negative six to the power of three, that ends up being one over negative 216. And then this ends up being 16, this ends up being nine. Nine times 16 gives us 144. And this is over one. So this here ends up being uh, 144 over 216, right? We're multiplying fractions, sorry, negative 216. Uh, so let's just bring the negative up top, right? One times 144, 144, one times negative 216 is negative 216, brought the negative up top. And then negative 144 over 216, that actually simplifies to negative two over three, 72 goes into both of these. 72 goes into a negative 144, negative two times. 72 goes into 216, three times. Right, so negative two over three is your answer. And if you took all of this, plugged it into, uh, into your calculator, you should get negative two over three or negative 0 0.666 repeating. And then finally, number five, we got two to the negative six over 64 to the negative one. So we got a fraction here, negative exponents in the numerator and the denominator. So take all of the exponents and then just flip them over. So two to the negative six, bring down, 64 to the negative one, bring up. So that ends up being 64 to the power of positive one. This ends up being two to the power of positive six. 64 to the power of one is 64, two to the power of six is 64. 64 over 64 is just one. So this here is equal to one, right? So some of these can get a little bit weird. Uh, just make sure you're getting as much practice as possible and always be checking your answer, right? So if there's no variables, if you're just working with pure numbers, really easy to check your answer. You just plug all of this in your calculator, make sure you're getting the same result.